Well, it's been a long road back to title contention and a heavyweight championship opportunity for this man, but he has put in all the right work, and a lot of people give him a great chance to get the job done tonight. You know, when you've been there and you get back here, it's not new. There are a lot of things that are familiar, but how do you change the result? How do you assure that in this time, during this chance, you ultimately walk away with the championship? He's been here before, John. The team's been here before. They are confident that this time they get it done. And that self-belief is rooted in the preparation, right? He's got speed. He's got power. All the tools to wrest the belt away. We'll see if we have a new UFC heavyweight champion by night 10. Islam Makhachev, as usual, ready to battle as he tries to take home the title. Professional fighters reserve a spot for this man, Fedor Emelianenko. We'll see how it goes for him in the Octagon tonight. The last emperor, Fedor Emelianenko, ready to make another major statement here tonight. Tail of the tape for this heavyweight championship fight. All right, now for the particulars, here's Bruce Buffer. Ladies and gentlemen, this is the main event of the evening. <laughs> Introducing first, fighting out of the blue corner, presenting the challenger, Islam Makachev. And now, introducing the champion, fighting out of the red corner, ladies and gentlemen, presenting the reigning, defending, undisputed UFC heavyweight champion of the world. All right, Herb Dean, our referee for this one, just about to get underway. All right, another big spot tonight for the budding UFC lightweight contender, Islam Akashev. A lot of people believe, with respect to his brother, Khabib Nurmagomedov, that this version, this fighter, could actually be better. As for the matchup here tonight, Makashev figures to have a big advantage on the ground. Might have a great time on that double leg. Oh, and there's the early takedown, just what the doctor ordered. Exactly what he wanted to do. You saw it in the training footage. Takedowns are going to be the key. He got one early. He's on the right track. Oh, nice transition there. You call that a reversal? Yeah, you turn your defense into offense. Defensively, you switch position and you go right on the offensive. That's exactly what he did. You gotta be careful, Armbar. He's got it isolated. Oh, you better tap or that thing's gonna snap. He's got it isolated. Look at how intent he is to finish the sub. Oh, how good is that as he gets out? 
That is great submission defense, keeping everything short and not allowing the opponent to get the submission victory. Now he's in trouble. He's going to go to sleep. Ooh! He got out. He cleared his leg, got back to his back, and created some space between him and his opponent to stay out of that dark show. Beautiful ground strikes landing. Man, he's killing it on the ground. Another strike gets through. Inside the closed guard now. I mean, he went right into his full guard. What does he do to try to advance himself to give him more of an advantage on the match? All right, so there it is again. He's been very efficient with his ground and pound striking game team. And now they're starting to pile. He's starting to pile them together. Punch after punch, starting to land from the top position. Oh, good defense, yes. All right, close guard now. Islam Akashev getting absolutely worked here from the top. These are some very effective ground and pound strikes. Well, no surprise there as he lets his opponent stand back up. Oh, effective use of the jab by Milner. Nice body shot. He gets to the single collar time. Look in the drive and move his opponent to find openings to land that free hit. Is there for him. Move, move. Yeah, left hook found its target. Well, just exhausting watching some of these takedown attempts. He's unable to get it. There. And he's a big, massive shot lands. Look at how tough his opponent is, though. Still standing, still in their fight. Under two minutes to go in a back and forth first round here. Oh, oh he got him again. Nice shot there by the champ. Back and forth we go. All right, so an opportunity goes by the boards. He had him stunned, nearly finished, and now his opponent has recovered. His opponent's recovered. Now he's got to deal with everything that he's going to bring at him. He should have got the fight finished at that time. Pretty good position here with the single collar in the clinch. Oh, and now the underhook. Big double leg, double change. He passes the half. All right, side control now. We'll see if he can advance position. Transition. Well, we'll see if he postures up and can get some of his ground strikes going here. And there you go again, half guard. Ooh, right into side control, DC. This is where you want to be now because you get to make your opponent decide. They try to turn back into you, you can attack guillotine. If they turn away to try to get to your knees, you throw your hooks in and you got all your rear choke submissions. Makashev's back to the side control now. And very effective with the ground and pound. Grounded him and pounded him. Nice job. All right, so that opened up a cut around his eye area. He hasn't moved his head well. He was taking shots too clean, and now a cut is opened up. Oh, reverses the position now. Outstanding work on the ground by Emilianenko. Now that horn sounds means we have reached the end of round one. All right, so the round is over, but not before damage was done. Cut on the cheek, sustained in that round. Cut man in there quickly as usual to try to seal it up. All right, there's the end of the round, so it was a huge strike to the head that stunned his opponent and, and nearly got him out of there. Yeah, that was a big moment. A big strike lands, his opponent's on wobbly legs. That is exactly what, what you want to see as you're walking back to your stool. Your opponent staggering back to his corner and being hopeful that he can get it back together before the start of the next round. You ready to fight? Ready. Second round underway. Oh, nice box. Oh, he's wobbling now. Oh, nice level team. Makashev.
Chefs in half guard. Now he's going full mount. While landing several strikes here from the top, standing over his opponent. Good work here by Islam Akasha. Great job finding his shots from the top position. These ground strikes really started to add up. There's another one. Man, how fun is this to watch as he continues to set up an on lock now. Oh, that one looks really tight, DC. Well, that eye area is getting bloodier with, oh, what a transition to the belly down elbow. Oh, he got out. He actually defended. Now, he's not in a great position now, but he's better off than he was before. to spend this much time on the bottom, but you can't fault him for his activity. Landing strikes here from the bottom. Nice work by Fader. Massive shot from the top. Another one. I mean, he cannot miss from the top position. This pace is just absurd, and he has kept it up throughout the fight. Shades of Max Holloway against Calvin Cater. Punches in bunches. I mean, being there, watching Max Holloway do what he did, was super impressive. So to even list his performance alongside that tells you how this guy is fighting tonight. Well, the ground and pound is there once again. Strong work here by Emelianenko. Well, the fighter's gonna have to address this offense coming his way. He's getting really bloody around that eye. Yeah, now it's just become a big target because his opponent is just seeing the blood and he's just going after it. He has got to move his head before the strike starts coming in his direction. That guillotine is tight! Good job by the champ there. Sliding back up. Drops down inside the now closed guard of his opponent. Let's see how pissed he is as he attacks a submission of Big Ronica. Well, as usual, suffocating work from the top here by Fader. Stop, stop. But at least staying busy on the bottom. While he's not leaking information, he is leaking blood and a lot of it as his opponent continues to realize success. I mean, he's finding so much success striking in that area of the face. His eye is so damaged. The blood is pouring everywhere. This has become very, very dangerous for him. Let's go! Get him off her. Get him off! Mm, nice. Now inside the closed guard. And setting up a sub here. Oh, good technique there. He's got the triangle choke locked in. You gotta be kidding me. How good is his This dude is constantly dodging bullets, Jay. Great defense by the defensive fighter. Well, he has expended a lot of energy going for these submissions tonight. I'm not sure his opponent is actually submittable. No, it doesn't seem like it because every time he goes for a submission, he gets close, or at least he expects to get close. But his opponent is so on his game that he's not giving him much to work with. This has been a beautiful display of grappling offensively, but also defensively. Emelianenko is trying to get a triangle submission here. Oh, compromising spot here. Triangle choke is locked in. This has got to be a good fight. Most fighters will tell you offensive wrestling is the hardest, most of Somehow, some way, he's able to get out. Look at that, Johnny. Gets to his side. That allows him to slip the right arm out. He gets to his back. Now, he's in side control, but he's out of that deep submission attempt. All right, so Emelianenko's face is a hot mess, man. That cut on his cheek is getting worse by the minute and worse with every strike landed by his opponent. Fifteen seconds. Nicely done there as he forces the miss from his opponent. Takedown attempt starting to pile up. Good round. All right, there's the end of the round and hopefully not the end of the fight. He doesn't look as handsome as he did when he walked out. That is a severe gash on his face.
All right, that's the round. Emelianenko's eye is looking pretty bad. We'll see what the cut man can do with these 60 seconds, but you gotta think both referee and ringside physician are gonna keep a close eye on things as we move forward. All right, let us get you some replays from the damage in that previous round. Perhaps we can even isolate the shot that opened the cut. I mean, just some big shots landed over the course of that round. And he wasn't responsible defensively. He was trying to tough out way too many situations. You can't do that when you're fighting a guy like this. If he doesn't change something, he's going to find himself in trouble. Leg kick is there. Big land there. Good defense here to stay upright after that single leg takedown offering. And that one certainly found the target. This guy cannot fit. He's going guillotine. That guillotine is tight. How in the world did he escape that submission? Now he's got a good body position, yo. Nice movement to avoid some of those strikes from the top. Scramble and go! Scramble and go! All right, he's hanging out inside the closed guard of his opponent here, DC. You gotta be careful. Emelianenko's cut is only getting worse, making a nice donation to the canvas tonight. Well, maybe ill advised to be competing off your back, but he's landing. Oh, he passes the half guard now. And he's not posturing the lamp punches, so look for a submission attempt. Side control now. I mean, way to stay aware and stay safe defensively. All right, he's got him in the north-south position now. I know the crowd thinks it's funny when this happens, but if you're the bottom fighter, uh, nothing funny about it. It's not funny. This is not uh, a fun position to be in in fighting. You've got to try and change it immediately because you are carrying someone's weight, whether it's their bottom half weight or the top half. You are carrying their weight, whether you got their armpit in your face or you got their legs over the top of you. It is not comfortable. So you need to be trying to move, make them make a decision, a determination as to what they're trying to accomplish, and then you try and counter them. Oh, he's got to be careful there, yep. All right, working inside his opponent's guard here. You cannot sit in these jiu-jitsu guys' guard. And you can't have one arm in, one arm out. Guys will start throwing up legs, chasing triangles. There it is, now he's running out. We have crossed the midpoint of this one. Oh, looks like he's going for an arm bar here. How tight is that? Oh, he might be in trouble here. Puts his weight over the top of the arm. Oh, he got out! And notice how he got his body all the way across to the opposite side. Now, he's in the on belly, but it's much better than where he was before. Oh, he's got the knee on the belly. Could be trouble defensively. Oh, another strike hits right on that cut. Ringside position right after the intervention. That is it! Loving it, just a gorgeous shot there to end the fight. Really, just the way he drew it up. He found the opening and capitalized on it to the utmost extent. Nicely done to finish the fight. Buffer has the official decision. Ladies and gentlemen, referee Herb Dean has called a stop to this contest at three minutes, seven seconds of the third round. Declaring the winner by knockout and still the undisputed UFC heavyweight champion of the world, Hazel! And still the baddest man on the planet. I know you haven't retired yet, but uh, I don't necessarily want to see you share the octagon with that monster. I mean, this dude is a savage. There is prestige in being called the UFC heavyweight champion, 
He remains that. He is the standard by which all heavyweights are measured.